Good evening, friends. It is Monday the uh, 27th. <sighs> Welcome to my vlog. My name is Nina Niskanen and this is my vlog of creating all of my own clothes. Well, trying to anyway. And um, we are back with the noise jeans. Um, I already sewed... So, I'm going a bit out of order here, uh, the, mostly because I just, honestly, I just hate, hate, hate uh, changing the uh, thread uh, to the top stitching thread. And I don't have a second machine to, to just do the top stitching on. So I'm just, you know doing the uh, top stitching as I go. So, um, yes, anyway, um, I have done the, so hold on, I added the fly to the, to the left front. Um, it is there, it is trimmed. Uh, it is great. Now I just need to press it and then top stitch it right here, over here. But since I really, really, really detest, um, well, both pressing and uh, <laughs> changing the uh, uh, top stitching thread on, well, changing thread on my machines, um, what I'm do also doing at the same time is I'm getting the backs ready to be, uh, well, technically inserted uh, or attached to first each other and then to the fronts. And yeah, that's what's happening here. Uh, I need to press this one. I've added the yoke. This is probably a lot easier to tell what is happening here. Uh, the uh, I've attached the yoke here um, to the back piece. Now I need to press this seam down. I've also finished the uh, the seam. Um, now I need to press this seam down, and then I need to top stitch this one as well. So you can see you can see where I'm going with what I'm going for here. Uh, so yes, I am trying to get the fewest amount of top, top, top stitching thread changes as I possibly can without sacrificing the, um, the uh, structure of this, these jeans. I have pinned, pinned the other side of the back piece. It's going to be great. Now I just need to uh, get it, get it done. Um, now I just need to sew, sew this piece on and then finish it on the uh, serger and then also press and top stitch and then then I think the next stage after that is going to be putting in the zipper which means changing out to the uh, zipper foot which is also a whole process in and of itself so that is just gonna go in one one go because I <laughs> I am not going to do that multiple times. <sighs> Alas. Um, anyway, <sighs> we are going to finish these jeans this week. I will see you on the other side.
All right. Uh, I, I am very much done for today. Uh, it's time to change out the thread for the all-purpose thread again and then move on over to the zipper foot and all that that entails. So let me show you the current situation. We have two pieces of the back prepared to be united. Two. Two pieces of the back ready to be united in their backness. Um, then after that is done, well, no, not after that is done. Well, uh, before that gets done, I can, I can definitely speak, definitely. Um, after I finish working on the front, which let me show you, I have a single front with a top stitched fly. Come on now, top stitched fly. You can just barely see the ye yellow on there. And a pressed uh, fly shield placement. I, I don't know. Um, pressed fly, fly shield in any case. Uh, fly shield placement, whatever. Um, that is pressed in place. So then the next order of business is to attach the fly to the fly shield and then the fly and the fly shield, not the fly, the zipper to the fly shield. And then once that's done, attach this whole package to the front with that is just pressed and then after that's done uh, do some very careful pinning uh, in order to uh, place only the left side of the zipper onto the fly. So I'm sorry that is definitely going to be a thing um, at some point I am sure but right now I am honestly just very tired um, the uh, so far at least hopefully uh, or, or so so far at least the um, vaccination situation uh, is just that I'm very tired. That could also be uh, a matter of me being uh, somewhat anxious about getting vaccinated again uh, and then staying up, well not staying up, uh, being unable to sleep because of the nightmares. <laughs> Uh, I had several nightmares of being late. I hate being late. I hate it so much. So, yes, I had several nightmares of being late. Actually, in this case, it was to my own wedding. But really, we all know that it was about the vaccination. So <laughs> that was fun. Um, So yeah, uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm pinning the back because I might as well um, do that uh, once the, well I mean I can't do that. We will see because uh, the next time that I will be working with a standard foot 
uh, and a um, standard foot and the uh, all-purpose thread is when I'm attaching the two backs together. So there is that. I think what I'm going to do, this is against the instructions, but I think I'm going to do it anyway, is that I am going to uh, just sew, sew together the seams, uh, front and back, possibly the inseams as well. I mean, I'm gonna assemble the zipper as is and then do that because there's still a bit of a hollow at the at the center back seam and I want that gone but I want to see how the jeans look uh, in actual denim because the muslin that I used it while it's woven and it doesn't really stretch all that much it's it's not quite the same as denim, so uh, I might or might not just leave the inseams as is, just attach the. Well, I'm not gonna sew the center back closed because that would be pointless if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do some work on it. But um, I might do the side seams because the side seams were actually very good. The side seams worked out a treat on, on, on the uh, muslin on the first go. So that was good. Anyway, um, I think it's definitely time for me to go to bed because I I am I am tired y'all. I'm just very very tired. So tomorrow I will do more. But tonight I am going to go to bed. I'll see you on the other side. Good afternoon. It is time to do some hand basting which if you've been watching for any time at all, you may have already discovered that I am not a fan. So, what I'm going to do while I do this distasteful activity, I will chat to you. Because... <sighs> Freaking chalk marks. Tomorrow, I'm probably not going to be able to sew, at least not for very long, because my dog is not a huge fan of fireworks. Much like many other dogs, as well as uh, creatures, wild creatures in nature. But, unlike most dogs, and other creatures. He does not take this lying down. My dog has a tendency to start shouting at the fireworks, which is always a lot of fun for both us and our neighbors. So what we do instead is um, you're allowed to start shooting the fireworks here uh, at 6 p.m. So, uh, starting from 6 p.m., we basically have an action movie marathon. Because, for some reason or another, our dog does not, not mind uh, fireworks when they happen in action movies or gunfire or any loud explosions that happen in action movies. Don't know why, but for some reason he does not mind them. So 
they sort of tend to mask the uh, fireworks in um, outside unless unless they get very very bad so basically what we do from 6 p.m. until around 1 or 2 in the morning is we watch action movies <coughs> and that's the plan for tomorrow as well so I'm going to have to um, shut the door to this room so that the echoes from outside do not reach his beautiful ears and instead he has a relaxing time thinking that we're only watching watching movies so yeah uh, that's the plan for tomorrow but that also unfortunately does mean that I probably won't be able to do any sewing. I might be able to do some cutting on the uh, living room floor. It's not my favorite, mostly because uh, A, there's always some s stuff there, just general mess. Um, because we have a long-haired dog <laughs> and he does tend to carry the woods in with him. So, yeah. Anyway, um, and also I just dislike um, being on my knees in general, mostly because my knees don't take well to it. But I might do that. Uh, I just need to figure out which which pattern I should be cutting before I do that. So uh, I have here my line of basting stitches. Uh, I have here my template. You're supposed to set it down uh, on the uh, drill hole which is located here. It is slightly lighter than the rest of the fabric which is how I can tell it's there but it's not really noticeable. Anyway, um, the template is here. Uh, the end of the um, fly shield is roughly here. I thought the fly shield was supposed to get caught by the top stitching here, but apparently not. I am not sure how the fly shield is, because I thought that it was supposed to be, you know, uh, caught in the Uh, at at the bot that it was supposed to be caught at the bottom so that uh, it sort of covers the edge of the edge of the um, zipper, but maybe it's not supposed to be caught here. It's supposed to be caught elsewhere. So I think what I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to. Uh, look at the instructions before I do the actual top stitching here so that yeah because I don't want to mistake make a mistake here because uh, taking out the top stitching does leave a bit of a mark so uh, turning around just to confirm yes I am indeed correct some of this is very uneven this is why I hate hate 
hate um, top stitching. Uh, no, uh, hand stitch, hand stitching. Yeah, that looks pretty much correct. Anyway, I I will check on the instructions and I will see you on the other side. Just to let you know, I just checked on the um, the instructions. You are specifically not supposed to catch the fly shield at this stage. You are supposed to catch it at a later stage. So yes. Um, yes. Anyway, I'll see you on the other side. The fronts and the backs are together now. Um, there is an unseemly bubble around here when I tried these on. Um, well, I didn't sew the inseam because I know, I already know that I'm going to have to take the back part a bit, apart a bit. So, I just put on the cotton tape and um, yeah, so that's where we are. Uh, I'm going to take the cotton tape off once my partner comes back and we can fit these on and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get whatever is happening here sorted and then I can just finish all of the uh, all of the seams because I haven't I haven't finished any of the uh, inside seams so there is that um, in the meanwhile um, I think they're looking pretty good right the uh, the dark denim is really nice. The golden thread is really nice. I'm just really looking forward to wearing these things. I am almost certain that I will be able to finish the, these this weekend, but I won't be able to finish them tonight because I am getting really, really, really tired. And uh, even though it's barely even eight o'clock. I'm just, I'm beat. I am just, I'm just tired, you know? Uh, I think this is probably the vaccine speaking because I feel like slightly feverish. This is not great, but here we are. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be working on next is um, fitting those jeans. That's going to have to be a tomorrow thing because I think I'm shutting down for tonight and um, heading to bed as soon as my partner comes back from walking the dog. Uh, I probably won't be able to, as I mentioned earlier, I probably won't be able to do a lot of sewing tomorrow because of the New Year's, but Saturday and Sunday I will finish the heck out of these jeans. I will see you on the other side.
uh, the outside of the jeans, uh, the the main part of the jeans, is pretty much done. Um, I have sewn, finished, and top stitched both of the side seams. You only do it just past the fullest part of the hip. Well, I, I did it down to the um, come now down to the uh, end of the pockets just in case uh, the um, I have removed some fullness from the back seam I have finished it and now top stitched it now all I need to do is um, take out the rest of this tape and reinsert it um, and also um, sew the inseam and probably finish it. Um, then after that we are moving on to the waistband. That's gonna be exciting. Um, yes. This is all coming along rather nicely. I may or may not be able to finish these jeans tomorrow. I think... So, I'm very excited about this new year, 2022. Uh, I have some huge plans and I am excited about getting to work on them and and making them really good and um, I have actually managed to do all of the things that I need to get done this week which means that I I might just uh, all of the all of the things I accept for going to the gym, which is going to happen tomorrow, and uh, beyond that, I think that I am going to um, try to finish these jeans tomorrow. I think those are the two things that I'm gonna do. So yeah. Uh, I am, I'm slightly worried because there's still quite a lot to get done and I am a little bit worried about my machine's ability to keep sewing through these, um, these seams <laughs> because <laughs> they're getting quite thick. Um, the suggestion is that you may need to start hammering some of these points and um, I think I'm there. Especially since the waistband is going to seem in exactly the same places as the actual seams. So there is that. So anyway, um, it's coming along. Uh, I might or might not be able to finish these jeans this week and we will see but for now there is some uh, a snack and also some couch time with my sweetie so that's that's gonna be good I'm I'm I am a fan so I am going to leave these here for tonight and I will see you tomorrow. It's done. So basically what I have here right now are jeans. Jeans that uh, 
are still a little bit unfinished because I don't have a waistband in them, but they are most of the way there. I still need to finish the inseam and do some pin stitching on the, uh, uh, with the top, <laughs> top stitching thread on the inseam as well. And then I can move on to making the waistband. I am really looking forward to that. Um, it is closing in on 7 p.m. right now, so I doubt that I'll be able to finish finish today, but I am going to give it the, how they say, old college try. Uh, and yeah, I, I really hope that it's, it's going to get there, but we will see. Uh, right now I'm going to move on to working on the waistband and yeah, let's do this thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you something. I'm currently in the process of pin stitching the, um, the inseam. It has been finished and I'm using the uh, top stitching thread. You can maybe see it a little bit over here. I'm using the top stitching thread and this is something interesting that uh, was in the instructions for these jeans, but I don't know that I've seen similar instructions on other jeans patterns. So uh, what they tell you is, uh, what she tells you, is that you start pin stitching uh, so you so okay. <laughs> so you have the uh, jeans inside out. So that's the uh, outside of the denim, and this is the inside. You can you can sort of see the pockets over there. Um, so what they tell you to do is to have the legs sort of scrunched up and. Uh, start at the end of the leg and just keep going until the other side of the leg and it's 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 honestly it's kind of a pain in the ass but it is also a very very neat technique so I I just wanted to show you that so I'm just going to keep going and I will see you on the other side. All right, time for another thread change. And since I'm since I'm doing this, I might as well have a little chat about what's going to happen now. And what is going to happen now is I'm going to start making the waistband. The, um, the, uh, interfaced, um, part of the waistband is going to go on the outside. And I'm going to, um, Going to start with that, yes. Um, this is the interfaced part, and uh, I am not 100% sure about what's going on there since I did. I am so sorry. Uh, since I did. Um, take a little bit out of the back in order to get the bubbling to go away. So, uh, what is happening now is I am going to make my best guess at where the waistband needs to, I mean, I've measured it. I've measured how much approximately I need approximately how much I need to have 
the uh, center back seam. Uh, reduced by so that it's in the middle of the thing but honestly um, it wasn't easy so I don't know how successful I was so there's that and yeah so I'm gonna put the uh, put the waistband together on both the back and the front. I need to mark out the uh, the notches on the front. I have marked them out in the back. Assuming I can find them, I can. Um, And then we're just going to see where where things go from here. Anyway, I will see you on the other side. All right, is time to end this this vlog, this attempt at finishing these jeans. Um, the uh. The waistband, it is not going on today. Um, there, there is too much of the waistband to go with the jeans. And I'm not sure where I went wrong, but it looks like I might need to, I don't know, um, edit the the center back seam somehow so I had to take out uh, the first half of the uh, um, the waistband and I'm kind of sewing it in sections which is not conducive to a um, What is the word I'm looking for? Um, to a strong seam. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do the same. So this is the the second front. This is the one with the fly shield. Uh, so the left side, I think. No, the right side. The right side. Yes. Uh, this is the right front. So. Uh, I have sewn the waistband on from here to here and uh, that is from seam to the notch which should be correct but on the other side even though I placed the notch in the correct place somehow the seam wound up um, like a few millimeters towards the center uh, towards the back back and then uh, because of that the um, because of that the uh, center back went askew but it went askew more than the um, the side seam of the waistband warranted so there is definitely too much in the center back seam I'm just not entirely sure why so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew from both side seams towards the center back seam and then uh, once that seam is done, I am going to sew over, um, I'm, once that seam is done and I have adjusted the center back seam so that it actually fits in, in its place, uh, 
then I will sew over the entire thing once more so that it is one continuous line and not one continuous seam and not um, the broken down thing that it's about to become. Of course I'm overlapping all of the all of the breaks there but it's not gonna be pretty. My other thing is that the instructions say that you need to have the zipper teeth, uh, the top of the zipper teeth be uh, 14 millimeters down from the top of the thing. Sorry. And that is precisely where they are, but the seam is supposed to be placed at 13 millimeters down from the place and I am too much of a chicken shit to just confidently uh, um, sew over that so I'm I'm doing a, a small skip I don't know if you can see that I don't think so so yeah this is this is where we are um, yeah Anyway, the sauna is ready for for me to get into it, which is awesome. I am very much in need of a sauna, a trip to the sauna. And uh, I am I am going to end to the, this week's vlog here. Uh, once more, I have... <laughs> I am going to end my my vlog in a place where I am working on the the waistband even though I thought I would be uh, finishing this week I will not be finishing this week because the bane of my existence the waistband has once more surfaced and done me dirty. So anyway, um, I hope you like this video. Um, uh, I will see you next week with the finishing of these of these jeans, and then hopefully I'm gonna start or possibly even finish a Tarly tea because I could use another. Uh, comfy uh, oh god um, another comfy uh, long sleeve t-shirt because I like wearing long sleeve t-shirts in the winter anyway um, you know do all the YouTube things and I will see you next Thursday <laughs>